Now we are doing the fountain experiment, the most famous, uh, famous experiment that is the fountain experiment and why we do this fountain experiment? We do it just to prove the solubility of HCl gas in water. As you all know that HCl gas is highly soluble in water. So it, is, it can be just uh, experimented or it can be just proved by an experiment that is the fountain experiment. So this is the apparatus which is shown on the screen which is used for the fountain experiment. So what is it? See it is a stand. Right. It is a round bottom flask as you can see it has a rubber cock and this is a beaker. Right. Stand, round bottom flask and beaker. Now what, do, what, what does they actually contain? See this round bottom flask carries the HCl gas. The round bottom flask carries the HCl gas. And what is there in beaker? In beaker we have blue litmus solution. And this round bottom flask, the mouth of this round bottom flask is actually plugged with a rubber cock. See, and that rubber cock contains two holes. One hole is for this jet tube, which is going into the beaker, as you can see, and one hole is for the dropper, right? So, again, I'll repeat stand, round bottom flask with HCl gas, rubber cock with two holes. One hole is for jet tube, other hole is for dropper. And where this jet tube is going, it is going into a beaker which contains the blue litmus solution. Now what happens or how we are just going to prove the solubility of HCl gas. So what happens? We just press the dropper. So what happens when we just press the dropper? This blue litmus solution rises up from the jet tube. Right. And as this blue litmus solution rises up uh, through this jet tube and we know that this contains this uh, round bottom flask actually contain the HCl gas. So this HCl gas just get uh, you can say uh, it uh, dissolve with uh, water it is just soluble in water so it just dissolve with the water and what happens that uh, the, when it get, just gets resolved with the water so that means the pressure inside this round bottom flask which was earlier due to the gas right so that means when HCl gas will dissolve in water so obviously the amount of gas is going to be less so less uh, amount of gas means less pressure right so that means the inner pressure just falls but outside pressure is high the atmospheric pressure is high so what happens that is atmospheric pressure just force this blue litmus solution to rise up again and again and when it rises it just forces uh, or you can say the, it just rises with a great force that it just comes out when it just reaches here. So when uh, the HCl gas uh, gets dissolved in water it turns alkali in this thing it is acidic in nature as you know. So it will turn the this blue litmus solution red and as this uh, blue litmus rises with a great pressure so when it will rises it will just uh, when it will just move from here it will just uh, appear as a fountain and what will be the color of the fountain obviously it is going to be the, the red color because the acid turned blue litmus red as you can see in the figure that this kind see so when this litmus just rises up and it come across with the hydrogen chloride gas it turns into red color and due to higher atmospheric pressure and less pressure inside right so it just uh, uh, you can say blows in the form of fountain as you can see the colored uh, fountain which is formed here so this is actually the fountain experiment which explains that the HCl gas is soluble in water and the second thing is that that HCl is an acid uh, HCl gas is an acid which turns blue litmus red otherwise if you take uh, this thing uh, if you take the dry HCl gas it is it is not acidic in nature and even if you take the liquefied HCl gas even that uh, cannot change blue color to red but the moist HCl that means the HCl which contains the moisture as you as I told you that here when the blue litmus solution just rises up it ha obviously it has a water in it right so that means HCl get dissolved in water up to a such extent that it becomes uh, and it shows an acidic nature and that that is proved that uh, it turns the blue litmus red in color and due to the great atmospheric pressure outside and the less pressure inside it just comes out in the form of a beautifully colored uh, the red colored fountain.